Dawn a Convention uh, last week, 58 were baptized. <clears throat> And two more in headquarters, one in Rocky Mount, 12 in Atlanta, two in Houston, five in Texas, one in Johannesburg, one in Dubai, 19 in London, England, and 58 in Toulouse, Kenya. So that's 159. There's another way to start the year. <laughs> now I want to say, Thank you, Brother Logan. As the numbers continue to come in from 2021 baptisms, we're at 7,335. 7,335. They're still trickling in. It's a beautiful thing to be in something that God is in. And you see the hand of God perform these things right in front of your eyes. Yeah. Reading about it is beautiful. But it just gives you a different perspective when you see it done. Now to all of my viewers in Lafayette, Louisiana. We were there. December of last year, where we baptized 78. We are starting a new church in Lafayette, February the 6th. I want all of my viewers to get this. And I want all of you that were baptized there, make your plans now. You should have already left your church, but if you haven't, you got a few more weeks to gather your belongings. You can leave the church, the false church choir there. You won't need that unless you want to donate it to baptism. That's right. We have baptized folk here. February the 6th, we'll be at the same location where we help service. 717, I believe that's Duhon Road, Lafayette, Louisiana. It'll be broadcast if it's not broadcast already. So it's the pearl that got the flyer. Everything is good. Let's go on and get this information out so everybody can have it. All viewers that was at the meeting in Lafayette, Louisiana, we will be starting a church there in Lafayette. Now, I'll be there in person, God willing, on February the 6th, kicking things off. Then I pass the scriptures to the next quarterback. Nice. Service will be going on every Sunday after February the 6th. I didn't say I'd be there every Sunday because that just can't happen. Oh, no. I have to be all over the place. I have a worldwide gospel yeah. that demands our presence all over. Can be everywhere, but... Where I can get God be my helper, we'll do that. And uh, after the sixth, service will be every Sunday at 11 o'clock. And again, every Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock. 11 o'clock and then 4 o'clock. Now, while I'm there, service will be 11 o'clock and then at 5 o'clock. But after that, service will be 11 o'clock, then at 4 o'clock. Now different ministers will be there, and you come. Don't you have the type of attitude, I'm not coming unless Pastor Jennings is there. <coughs> if you got that way of thinking, you're of the devil. That's your New Year's announcement. Anybody just want to come, or won't come unless I'm there. You're of the devil. Because you see, I, I, I go whether you there or not. And if I had that attitude that I'm not going to be there unless you're there. Hmm. Churches would not be established the way they are. When I think of Fredericksburg, Virginia. 
we had one member. And I was traveling faithfully for 10 years. I didn't even have a car then. I was on Amtrak. 10 years, once a month, preaching to one member, Mother Betty Greenhaw, in her home. She had an old wood stove for heat, and it worked very well. For a pulpit podium, I had a bookcase and a makeshift table for offering. So I was faithful for 10 years preaching to one mother. <clears throat> and uh, God won faithful people. Dedicated to him. And if you can't be faithful with the few, you will never maintain many. So I don't struggle with being faithful to God now. That's not a struggle for me. Because I was faithful years ago when we only had 12 or at the most 15, I was faithful. So it's not a struggle for me to be faithful because God is faithful. And I have sense enough to know I owe God everything for his faithfulness. And let us understand you will never be able to pay God back at no time for what he done in your rotten life. Yeah. You got to admit you had a rotten, ungodly, wicked, hellish life. Life didn't start to be good until you met God. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. When you met God, God brings, brought some sense, some meaning to your life. You thought you had a beautiful time out there acting like a fool, but your life, any time you're on your way to hell, you was living a rotten life. <laughs> Smiling, <laughs> dancing, having a wonderful time as you thought, but rotten to the core. So Lafayette, Louisiana, I want you to remember that on February the 6th, God willing, we'll be coming in your area. All of you that were there, be back. Come on back. Oh, yes. Leave your church. Leave it. Sure. All of you ministers that were there, leave your position. Leave your post. You don't have to write your pastor. I get hundreds of letters. Do I got to write my bishop to leave? Did you write him to come there? If you didn't write him to come there, you don't have to write him to leave. That's right. Just do it the way the Bible says it. Come out. Come out from among them and be separate. St. Louis and Kansas City, Missouri. We were there last year. In St. Louis, we baptized 112 in two days. The following week, we went to Kansas City where we baptized, I believe it was 92 in two days. God willing, Kansas City and St. Louis, we're looking to open up God be our helper this year in your area also. We're looking to get you moving, God be our helper. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio. I forgot how many we baptized there, but it was quite a large number. Yeah. But God willing, Cleveland, we're looking to get you started this year. God be our helper. So uh, there's so much work that has to be done. Pittsburgh, we heard you. We're getting tons of mail out of Pittsburgh asking us, please come to Pittsburgh. God willing, we'll come there in Pittsburgh. And Cincinnati, Ohio, we was coming to your area last year, but... COVID changed things. We didn't change it. The facility that we're, we were going to use is shut down. But God willing, we hope to get to you this year as well. Now, uh, San Antonio, Texas, God willing, we'll be there in about a couple of more weeks. Uh -huh. And also Atlanta, Georgia. We'll be dedicating the new Atlanta, Georgia temple there in a few more weeks as well. And Orlando, Florida, and Miami, Florida, we'll be there in February, God be our helper. If there's no change, Brooklyn, New York, Bronx, New York, upstate New York, God willing, we'll be coming into your area. Now to all the brothers and sisters of Bronx, New York, where we have uh, temporary use of Lehman College. As you know, Lehman College, the city closed it again because of the uprise of COVID. 
They closed it, I believe, for two weeks. Uh -huh. Now, that's, that's out of my control. Right. Now, all the areas, even though in the local churches, the first churches of our Lord Jesus Christ, the buildings that we own, right. we believe in letting everybody in. We can't turn you away. But uh, property that we're renting, we have no say so. Leaming College made stipulations that they won't even let you in unless you have the vaccine shot. And you got to show proof. You can go to the gate and speak in tongue. Amen. <laughs> yeah, but the guard is going to tell you, I, I don't speak that language. <laughs> he won't know you in the spirit. He may tell you, uh, I speak uh, English. Yeah. Yeah, man, if you get the shouting, well, he may wait. Or he may call the police on you. I don't know. <laughs> but places that we rent, that's out of our control. We have absolutely no say so. If they lay a stipulation, then uh, we have to be compliant if we want to use that facility. Amen. So my desire is that we're able to stop renting every place that we're renting and to be able to buy our, or uh, buildings we can convert to temples, houses of God for the edification of God's people. So Lafayette, you remember now February the 6th, spread the word. Get the word out, all you elders and would-be deacons and pastors and everything. If you're tired of the fake churches, because yeah. God is real, ain't nothing phony about oh, God. No. And as I said earlier, if you're blessed to be alive here in 2022, it's by God's mercy. Because brother... God have used this virus and he's still using it as a convenient vehicle to remove hundreds of thousands. And he don't care nothing about your celebrity status. January just got here and celebrities done died already. God has given everybody time. I want you to hear the old man. God has given you time. Any time you're just alive the next second. Glory to God. Your Lord has given you time. He's not looking at your status. He's not looking at your political affiliation. He don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican because he ain't neither. But do God care? God is holy. God just wants everybody to make changes on his terms. Amen. And if you're wise and not a fool, you will hear this message that's thundering to you over and over and over and over. One thing I say about Anyone that's been listening, this message has been consistent through the years. Yes. Haven't changed at all. No way. It has been consistent. God's way have never changed. No. Still want everybody to repent. Yeah. Be baptized in water. Sure. In the name of Jesus Christ. Still want you to seek him. For the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongue as the Spirit of God give us. Yes. Still want you to know the way of holiness right. that'll bring you out of the madness that you're in. So the best day of your life, as I said before, is when you experience the interruption of God. Yes, and I must say, God interruption don't always feel good. But once you learn about it, you understand how good it is. You better give me the book of numbers. I want to work on the interruption of God. All right, Ron, turn me and Williams up and add some reverb to it. Amen. I want to let the devil hear the echo of it. 
There was a prophet named Balaam. He was riding on a donkey. And uh, there was a destroying angel in the path. Yes, it was. And the prophet didn't see the donkey. But uh, God will use different things to interrupt your life and save your life. That's right. Now, I want everybody to follow me and get this. All right, William. In the book of Numbers, chapter 22, and we'll start reading in verse 20. Yes. And God came un unto Balaam at night and said unto him, If the men come to call thee, rise up and go with them. But yet the word which I shall say unto thee, thou shalt do. The word that I say to you, that shalt thou do. Hmm. Hmm. That's what got me the way I am. Some folks come to me, Pastor Jennings, I hope you never change. I'm praying that you never change. That prayer already been answered. That's right. You move on and ask God to give me some strength. Amen. Amen. As God continue to increase my wisdom and That's it. knowledge and understanding and give me physical and spiritual strength That's right. so I can keep pounding the devil head. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Amen. He already answered that never change prayer. That's, that's right. Glory be to the most high God of Abraham. But yet the word which I shall the say unto thee. The word that I tell you. That shalt thou do. That's what have me fasting Hallelujah. right to God's word. Hallelujah. No matter what is presented to us, we refuse to detour. Deviate. From what God has in Scripture. That's right. What God put in Scripture is for our salvation and for our protection. That's right. And nothing, get me good, and nobody should be able to infiltrate your life and alter that loyalty that you have towards God. That's right. I've met many things and many people. Been many places in my world travel, but I haven't possessed nothing, haven't talked to nobody, haven't been nowhere. That's right. That uh, even threatened my God given loyalty to God. That's right. Because I haven't met, heard, or seen anything that I can compare That's right. to the God of heaven. I mean, I don't, out of all the millions I've talked to, I ain't met no one who's a life giver. Mm -mm. I haven't met no one that created the heavens and the earth. That's right. Mm -mm. I ain't met no one that gave me the Holy Ghost in my earthly travel. That's right. Amen. So why would I sell out for that which is worthless? And reject him who I don't even have tongues to express my gratitude about his greatness. That's right. Do you hear what the word of God said? Give chapter and verse again, William. In Numbers chapter 22 and at verse 20. Yeah. But yet the word which I shall say unto thee. God talking. The word that I tell you. That shalt thou do. Stick to that. That's right. Uh -huh. And Balaam rose up in the morning and saddled his ass and went with the princes of Moab. Yeah. And God's anger was kindled because he went. And the angel of the Lord stood in the way. You know, I want everybody to hear this. Yeah. If God tell you to do something and you do opposite, mm -hmm. God going to get angry. That's right. Now, if God get angry at me, I'm using myself as an example. Stop me in mercy, but don't stop me in judgment. That's right. That's right. The Lord our God brought extraordinary mercy to the prophet Balaam. That's right. He showed unusual mercy. Yes. 
What I mean by unusual mercy, he got the prophet attention That's right. in a manner that was out of the ordinary, thank God, yet extraordinary. That's right. Listen at this now. And God's anger was kindled because he went. Yes. And the angel of the Lord stood in the way for an adversary against him. Do you hear this? Amen. That lets you know that it isn't always the devil. That's an adversary. That's right. Amen. That's right. God can send an angel from heaven. That's right. And make that angel an adversary mm -hmm. because you're on a journey to destruction that you can't see. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's right. You know, that's what God preacher Hallelujah. is. Hallelujah. He's an angel. An angel. But he's an adversary to the world. That's right. Because the world is on a destructive journey that many can't see. Yeah. So God will send a preacher and put him in the way. In the way. Glory mm, to hallelujah. God. Let you run across him in your journey. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Give him a word yeah. that's contrary to your journey. That's right. The word will be opposite from the way you think and the way you feel. But when you go back and search that message, now you understand that it's for your safety and for your protection. And the objective is that you may reconsider That's the right. journey that you're on and turn around. That's right. Oh, praise is great. In name, hallelujah. That's right. Turn around. Turn around. Come out. Hallelujah. From among them, God Except says, my people. That's right. Viewers. This message of Hallelujah. holiness is an adversary an to adversary. the wicked and an adversary to the righteous. That's right. Is, and is also an adversary to the holy. Oh, amen. So I'm saying, what? Bible said he speak by the mouth of his holy prophets since the world began and that got Balaam. That's right. But Gail, Balaam actions was disobedient. That's right. And God didn't want the cut the prophet off in the midst of his disobedience, so he sent an angel. And the angel of the Lord... Glory to God of the Lord. And the angel of the Lord stood in the way for an adversary against That's him. what God sent a messenger for. Yeah. Right. To stand in the way. That's yeah. right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Warning. Mm. warning. Amen. And the warning continues, continues in 2022. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. The attitude of the people is, we don't want to hear your way. No. They don't want to hear God's way. I want to hear that. Get from among us. We That's desire right. not. This is a rebellious people. Listen at this. In the book of Isaiah chapter 30 and at verse 9. This is. A rebellious people. A rebellious people. Lying children. Lying children. Children that will not, that will hear, not hear the law of the Lord. God's law. We say to the seers. Look at here. Amen. They say to the preachers, they say to the preachers, they say to the pastors and to the apostles and bishops and prophets that's leading them. This is what the people say to them. We say to the seers, see not. Don't you see what God see? And to the prophets. They say to the messengers. Prophesy not unto us right don't things. Don't you tell us nothing right? Speak unto us smooth Only things. thing we want to hear is what make us happy, what that's make right. us shout. Smooth. We don't want you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We don't want you to speak Hallelujah. against our sinful life. That's right. Amen. We don't want you to tell Tell us we're going to hell for nothing. Prophesy not unto us right things. Don't you tell us nothing right. Speak unto us smooth things. You tell us the things that don't hurt us. Prophesy deceits. We want you to prophesy deception. Get you we want you to trick us. That, that's right. Lie to us. That's right. Play with us. That's right. Hallelujah. We don't want no one to tell you you're going to hell. Hallelujah. You don't live right. You're going to hell if you're not baptized. Hallelujah. You're going to hell if you keep Hallelujah. divorcing and remarry. We don't want to hear that. Prophesy none unto us right things. You, that's the way folks feel about us. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Don't tell us nothing, right? Speak unto us smooth thing. Lay with us. That's right. Pat us on the back. That's right. Don't tell us we're going to hell. Amen. Smooth things. Let us just make our rack records and go to church on Sunday. That's right. Because then the preacher will be glad to see our celebrity face. That's what they want. That's right. On, That's right. Amen. 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 Well, man, you on the party all day, and then you walk in some church on Sunday. Yeah. Then the preacher will say, "Oh, we're glad to have Snoop Dogg in here. We, <laughs> we're right. honored to have. We're honored to have. We're honored to have Fifty Cent. That's right. We're honored to have the 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 Kandash, the Kardashian the Kardashian family. We we we're honored to have." Bruce Jenner and, and Miss Bruce Jenner. <laughs> That's and, right. And, and transvestite Bruce Jenner. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They want honor. That's right. Glory to God, but you don't want to obey God. Prophesy not unto us yeah. but things. Amen. The preacher felt honor when a celebrity walked in this church or a popular politician. That's right. Now that's time for him to have a photo op. That's right. Glory to God. God, in all of this, you're not making plans to meet your Lord. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What did they say? Prophesy not unto us right things. Don't tell us. Amen. What's right? Speak unto us smooth things. Play with us, Bishop. That's Bishop, right. play with us. That's right. Bishop, don't tell us that it's wrong to live together and not marry. Amen. Don't tell us it's wrong to be a homosexual. Don't tell us it's wrong to have same-sex marriages. Don't That's tell right. us that it's wrong to divorce and remarry. Don't That's tell right. us that. That's right. Don't tell us it's wrong to be out here drinking and gambling and Party and That's right. Don't tell us it's wrong to dye your hair and look like the world. Don't tell us that. Prophesy not unto us right Don't things. Don't you tell us nothing right. Speak unto us smooth things. And that's what they're doing. Oh, yes. That's what the preachers want, and that's what the people want, and that's what the preachers have agreed to do. Speak unto us smooth things. They agreed to a smooth thing. Prophesy Amen. deceits. Prophesy tricks. Get you out of the way. Wait a minute. Amen. How do the people feel about the preacher and get, God's way? Get you out of the way. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. Want the preacher. Get out of God's way. His way is too way. strict. That, that's we right. don't want no holy sanctification. That's right. And the devil know that the human family don't want to be holy and sanctified. That's right. Amen. That's why he oaks, he's, he got an open buffet that's right. of religion. That's right. A open buffet of religion. That's right. Amen. When I was coming up, my mother knew I didn't want no collard greens. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. She knew I didn't want no collard greens. I didn't want no liver. <laughs> that's right. I ain't want no beets. <laughs> Amen. I didn't want no squash. That's right. No, I ain't want no pinto beans and butter beans. No, sir. Uh, get you out get, of the way. Get me, give me that sweet potato poon. <laughs> That's right. Uh, 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 give me corn pudding. That's right. Uh, uh, <laughs> give me rice pudding. That's right. Amen. Amen. And uh, give me that pound cake with my food. That old country folk call sweet bread. That's right. Hey, yeah. That's right. Hey, man, give me that. Amen. And when you're a child, you don't want no liver and collard greens and turnip greens and turnip. You got the greens and the turnip. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Amen. But my God, I, I'm so glad so uh, that she fed it to me. Amen. And now I can't wait for my wife when she cook it. Amen. Huh? Amen. Hey, Amen. Get that good old country, good food that sticks to your ribs. That's right. Hey, Amen. The, the kind of food that before you finish eating, you're starting to fall asleep at the table. That's right. Huh? That's right. That the food is working on the inside. Amen. And coming on the outside. Amen. <laughs> All right. Prophesy not unto us right things. That's the way you folks are, viewers. You want cotton candy for preaching. That's right. You want lollipops and blow pops and sugar babies and lucky charms and Mikey Nikes and good and plenties yeah. and three mustard tears. That's the type of junk you want to be preached. That's and right. And God knows that the preachers are compliant. Oh, yeah. And the reason why the preachers are compliant, if they give you candy, they get money. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. 
They're not even thinking that the Lord our God is coming. Amen. He's coming. Amen. Oh, it takes God to hear these men are not warning you. Oh, the no. warning prepares you for God's arrival. Prophesy, brother. Yeah. You know, in the 1940s, thank God they had men walking the streets uh, in many parts of the world when World War II took place, like in London. Yeah. There was a certain time you had men that would walk the streets and would tell all the citizens, lights out. That's right. Yeah. Turn the lights out. Yeah. That's right. Germany was bombing the UK, and so Germany, the bombers wouldn't see where the uh, many areas of the cities were. Yeah. It was lights out. Right. Yeah. You had to turn the lights out. That way, there's no indication that there's buildings here. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. That's what they want the preacher to do. Yeah. Uh, the preacher is sent to Bomb the city. That's right. Bomb you with scripture. Amen. Thank God. But the men now, amen, they're not dropping bombs. They're just dropping little blanks, you know. That's right. And little blank, little caps. When I was a child, we had a cap gun. Cap gun. Remember the cap gun? Amen. The little old round thing, you know, and, and you put it in the gun. It got little dots on it. Yeah. And when you, when you fired that trigger, it hit the cap gun. That's Amen. Right. You didn't have a real gun, just had a cap gun. Amen. Amen. That's the way it is in the pulpit, a little cap gun. That's right. There's all these sin. That's all the sin in the world. Yeah. They should be using heavy biblical artillery. That's right. Eh? That's right. They should be using heavy Amen. biblical artillery. That's right. Thank God to combat the devil. Oh, yeah. Amen. But instead of using heavy artillery, Amen. The devil don't even feel what's coming from the pulpit. That's right. You see what I'm telling you? That's right. Amen. The devil look at that junk coming from the pulpit. Pew, 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 pew. Come on. Right, little water gun preach. Little water gun. Little water gun preach. That's right. Even the sinner looking at it. That's right. The sinner hear what the preacher preaching. The sinner looking. That's right. Is he for real? <laughs> That's right. Even the sinner know that Amen. junk falling from the pulpits of America don't even motivate him to change his ways. That's right. Eh? Prophesy none of But course, when God Almighty talk. Hallelujah. Go with hallelujah. Hallelujah. God word. Hallelujah. Oh, it take God drops in the soul of the sinner. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh? hallelujah. Amen. Amen. No one can tell me different. I'm getting thousands of letters from around the world, and I mean thousands. Wonderful. My God, sinners that have turned and are turning. Wonderful. Amen. Throughout America and uh, Canada and Alaska, Hawaiian Islands, Japan, all across Africa. Wonderful. Amen. Sweden and Australia, all across the South Pacific, all across the Atlantic, all across the Caribbean. Amen. Amen. Thousands and thousands. Thousands of sinners. Amen. Amen. Why? Now, they, they wouldn't turn if we had a little water gun. <laughs> no way. No. We don't have no water gun gospel. Oh, no. Amen. We don't have a little cap gun gospel. <laughs> That's right. Amen. We have heavy Amen. artillery in the scriptures. That's right. Eh? That's right. Thank God the kind that come in town. Oh, yes. Who would take God and cause havoc, havoc in everybody's life. <laughs> That's right. For what? That they may come along and obey God. God's almighty That's right. order. That's it. You see, God have order. Oh, yes. And God want everybody to familiarize himself with his order. That's right. And to do that, you got to humble yourself under the mighty, hallelujah, yes. mighty hands of God. Prophesy, Listen at this now. Prophesy not unto us right things. Imagine that. Imagine Don't that. tell in God's preacher. That's right. Don't you tell us nothing right. Speak unto us smooth things. Smooth things. Prophesy. Touch, here, touch it and claim it. That's it. Smooth, smooth things. Smooth things. Touch it and claim it. Smooth. God got a miracle with your name on it. What is that called? Smooth things. Smooth. Amen. Call, hey, going over people's fences and touching their houses. The preacher tell you touching cars, touch houses. That's right. Touch wives and touch husbands that already got living companions and claiming them. Smooth things. That's smooth. Smooth. Amen. That's smooth. Oh, yes. And people love that. The objective of God. I want everybody to hear me, hear me, hear me good and clear. Amen. The purpose of God's word in the earth oh, yes. is to prepare every human under the sun Amen. for the Lord's appearance. That's right. Don't you know that, viewer? That's right. Hate me much as you please, but that hate is too late. Oh, yes. The Lord our God is coming. Oh, yes. Glory to God, he ain't impressed with your mansion, your yacht, 
your fleet of cars, how much money you have, because who have more than him? That's right. Glory to God, he, have, he owns the universe and he owns eternity. That's right. Eh? Prophesy not unto us. He, 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 he owns the universe. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Man is still trying to figure out God's creation. That's right. God ain't trying to figure out nothing. <laughs> That's right. Man is still discovering new things. That's right. It is nothing new for God to discover. In the book of Joshua, chapter 11, and verse 46. All right. Did not our fathers in the days of old Did sin in this manner? Did not our fathers in the days of old sin in this manner? Sin. 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 In this manner. They sinned. Like this. And the Lord God of the universe. What? And the Lord God of the universe. I got that same God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hey Amen. The truth of God follows the Lord God Hallelujah. of the universe. And the Lord God of the universe. The Lord God of the universe. Brought the waters of the flood upon he them. He brought the waters of the flood upon them. And destroyed the whole earth. Now, viewers, God speaking the word that he will no longer destroy the entire earth with water. That's right. But this time he gonna bring something different. That's right. He going to bring fire. Amen. He didn't say it won't be floods. No. He just said he won't use water to destroy the entire world no more. That's right. But my God, he's going to bring fire. That's right. Amen. You hard head, wealthy banquet, celebrating mm. party folk mm. that sit up all night and drink your champagne and your caviar. Yes. Thank God and just lay around gambling and smoking and just having a big party with no God. No God, that's and right. And then you die and some Catholic priest put you up in heaven. Amen. No, sir, don't work that way. Oh, no. I want every celebrity, every athlete in the world understand something. That's right. You're not better than the poor. No. Oh, no. Not at all. Oh, no. Because the rich and the poor, and the poor have to stand before God. That's right. All right, go back to where you were, Williams. Back in the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 10. That's what? Prophesy not unto us right things. Don't you tell us what's right. Speak unto us smooth things. Take it easy. Prophesy deceits. Prophesy lies to us. Get you out of the way. Get out of God's will. Turn aside out of the path. Turn aside from God's direction. Cause the Holy One of Israel. Hey, hey, preacher, Amen. preacher. This is the desire of the churches. That's right. This is the desire of the followers of the churches. That's right. This is the desire of the congregations of the religions of men. Get you out of the way. Get out of God's way. Turn aside out of the path. Turn aside from God's standard. Cause the Holy One of Israel. And I want you to cause God Almighty. To cease from before us. Get God out of our view. Kick him that, out of every message. That, that's right. Kick God out of every that's right. sermon. That's right. Don't even bring up God. We don't want to hear nothing about God. That's right. We want to hear, touch it, claim it, and money. That's we don't right. want to hear about the wrath of God. That's right. We don't want to hear about the judgment of God. That's right. All these things about God we want to hear is God is love. That's it. God is love. That's right. God is love. Yeah. We want to hear that God will look past my faults. That's right. Like that lying song. That's right. Uh, he, he looked beyond my faults and yeah. saw my knees. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie That's out right. of the deepest parts of hell. That's right. God ain't look beyond no Nobody fault. Oh no. It is God that look at your fault. That's it. And that's why he saw your need. That's right. Because he saw your fault. That's right. That's right. That's right. He looked beyond my fault. No, he did not. No, he didn't. He looked at him. That's it. He looked at the faults of man until he had man faults written in the Bible. That's right. Until he said, Our first father have sin. That's sin. That's not looking beyond him. Oh no. That's looking at him. That's right. Until the Bible said, Nevertheless, death reigned. Glory to God. From Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned. After the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that, that was, was to come. And here come God manifested come. in the flesh, right. which was Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Hallelujah. That was God manifested in the flesh. That's right. And then that body was taken to the cross That's and right. he was put to death in the, yeah. flesh in the flesh as a result of the fault of man. That's right. That's right. He didn't look beyond it. No, no. He looked at it. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Hallelujah. He didn't look beyond it. No. He looked right at it. Right at it. 
And man, he got it. He didn't. He looked at it so well until he had the apostles preach against it. That's right. He preached against adultery. He preached That's against right. fornication. <laughs> preached against idolatry. Preached against hearsay. Preached yes, against sir. witchcraft. Yes. Preached right. against gossiping. Preached against false prophets. That's right. Preached against women trying to use some authority That's over the man. That's right. Preached against makeup. Preached against jewelry. That's that right. don't sound like he looking beyond it to me. Oh no. Oh, no. No, no. He ain't looked beyond nothing. No. He looked at it so well. That's right. Oh, it take God until he itemized it. That's right. Itemized it so clear, then he so said, clear. break up your folly ground. That's right. Hell! That's right. I'm not going to look beyond it. I'm going to look at it. At it. And Amen. I'm going to come back and tell you, break it up. That's right. Hell! Prophesy not. Break it up! That's right. They want God to do what? Prophesy not unto us right things. They don't want the preacher to tell you what's right. Speak unto us smooth things. Uh, play around with this preacher, preacher. That's Let right. us have Friday night church mm -hmm. so we can hire the neighborhood Christian comedian. That's right. Smooth things. I remember one convention. I was out to dinner with some of the brothers from overseas and some of the local brothers. And man, and while we were sitting out there eating in Springfield, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Phil, folks always rep, uh, recognize who we are, which I can't stand because <laughs> I love I love privacy. Amen. But a gentleman came up to me and said, "You, Pastor Jennings?" I said, "Yes, sir." He he said, "I enjoy your program." He must not been watching it long. He gave me his card. Mm -hmm. He said, "I'm a Christian comedian. Just I want you to take my card. You can call me." Uh, I got some jokes I would love to bring to your church. I leaned over, <laughs> I leaned over and told the brother, he must only watch one message. <laughs> he must only watch a little, a little clip, a, a little, a little clip. snip of a message. <laughs> That's right. You come here, come imagine, standing up here one Friday night, hosting a comedian. My Lord. And man, I do like Jesus. I get a rod and turn the tables <laughs> over and drive everybody out. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, red tech God. That's why we don't have plays in the church. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Plays do not belong in the church. No way. Not at all. Oh, no. God Almighty declared what his house was made for. That's right. He said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Isn't it? That's right. Shall be called. The house of prayer Glory for all God. people. A house of prayer for how much? For all people. For all people. All people. There shouldn't be no plays in the church. No. There ain't no such thing oh, as a no. Christian play. Oh, no. Plays are of the devil and of the world. That's right. That man, God made it plain That's what right. his house should be for. For my house shall be called a house of prayer. For what? For all people. That's right. Not and for selling tickets. For all. And house of prayer for all people. Not for selling tickets. And house of prayer for all Not people. Not for raffle tickets. Mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. Not for a lottery. Mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. Not for 1 800 Christian dating service. Mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. Hey Amen. Doesn't matter. Hallelujah. 2022, the message don't change. That's right. Huh? That's right. All right, let's go back to Isaiah again. Now, what did he say? Back there? in Isaiah chapter 30 and verse, six, oh, verse 10. Give chapter and verse again. Again, Isaiah chapter 30 and at the 10th verse. What is it? Prophesy not unto us right things. Uh, that's the way they, and they got preachers that lived up yeah. to that. That's right. They yeah. won't tell them nothing right that's out right. of fear of losing money and losing members. Right. And he can't keep up that lifestyle. So think of it, viewers. That's right. The preacher would rather lie to you rather and lie. let you go to hell if that's going to make him rich. That's right. That lets you know he loves money more than he loves your soul. That's right. Hey Amen. I'm going to tell you, I don't care if you so wealthy until you make $500 million an hour. Mm. That's a lot mm. of money. And you give the church $200 million a day. Amen. And pay tithing of $175 million Every 15 minutes. My Lord. I don't care. That's right. While you're writing the check, I'm going to pout your head with Bible. That's right. Huh? That's right. Why, nigga, you came here. Go ahead. And nigga, you shall return. We'd say to the I seers. I want everybody to understand Go the ahead, only thing that got you here Go is the God of the universe. That's right. And when God snatched your breath out of your young, middle-aged, old, healthy, and sick, Body. That's right. Oh, it's a gotcha. Can't come 
back and correct nothing. That's right. Get mad now, but you're going to stand before God. That's right. Cuss God now, but you're going to stand before God. That's right. Turn your back on him. Amen. But you're going to stand before God. Now, this is a rebellious people. What? This is a rebellious people. I warn you. Amen. All you rappers out there that just living your life of luxury and Amen. Chasing your women and making all your babies, all your athletes out there. That's right. All the millions of dollars you're making. You can have your mansion. You can have 25 Bentleys and 13 Rolls Royce and 27 yeah. Ferraris. Amen. And amen. Have them. That's fine. Have That's them right. all you want. All you but want. when the smoke is clear and your collection is done, That's you right. have a God to obey. They spend their days in wealth. Do you hear this? In Job 21 and verse 13. They spend their days in wealth. In wealth. And in a moment. How quick? In a moment. In a moment, where do they go? Go down to the grave. In a moment. That's true. Amen. Huh? Amen. You, you, yeah, you need this message. That's right. Holiness is a message that God put in the earth for the salvation of the entire world. That's right. Human family, this is why we tell you stop wasting your time. Time and the religion they never been in the Bible. Amen. Have never been in the Bible. The religions of men have never been in the scriptures. That's right. Thank God the devil got in men. Yeah. Because the devil hate the holy ways of God. Oh, yeah. And the devil don't want men, thank God, to be saved. That's right. So the devil went and set up religion so as a distraction. Right. Thank God to distract men from God's purpose That's right. and God's order. Amen. And they set all kind of religions oh, yeah. all over the world. Oh, yeah. And the people are running to it. And then he make his preachers famous. That's right. Known. And they're not known for preaching the word of God. Oh, no. They're just known for reciting the Bible. That's it. And the ignorant folk think they're preaching from the Bible, but they're just reciting the Bible. That's it. Uh-huh. They spend their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment go Glory down to the grave. God and in a moment, go down to the grave. All of you that I came up with in Huntington Park, that goes moment. for you too. Oh, yes. You watch this program almost religiously. That's true. Amen. Religiously, you that you truck drivers yes. that listen to this message as you drive all across America. Oh, yeah. Amen. You that is in Dubai and that is in Korea. Amen. Bless God and all across the South Pacific. Holiness is the message of God for the last days. That's Nothing right. else. That's right. So you get what I'm telling you. Amen. Holiness Holy. and sanctification That's it. is the message that came down from God out of heaven. That's right. For the world. That's right. Oh, it's that God to give them the opportunity to get right with God on his terms. That's right. If you don't want to be holy, you stop going to church. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. Oh, that's the truth of it. Oh, yes. It's just like uh, if a job got a dress code. And that woman want to work at that company, she mm -hmm. got to follow the dress code. That's right. If the job got a standard That's right. and got a certain rule, no eating on this floor. Yeah. If that man want to eat, he got to go to another floor where it's allowed. That's right. If the job got a rule, smoke-free company. Yeah. No smoking in the company at all. Oh, yeah. Not even on the company grounds. That's right. Well, you gonna have to go away from the company grounds. That's right. If you want to keep your job. That's right. I'm saying that to say this, you 2022 listeners, oh, yeah. if you want to get into the kingdom of God, oh, yeah. you have to get in according to the rules, regulations, yeah. statutes, oh, yeah. laws, yeah. precepts right. set not by Geno Jennings. That's right. That's yeah. where the devil tricked you. Yeah. They say, you can't do this in Geno Church. I ain't got no church. Oh, no. I ain't got no church. Right. This ain't my church. That's right. Oh, no. If it was my church, I wouldn't be here. That's right. My God, man, I'd take a leave of absence and stay gone. Oh, yes. This is God's church. God's church. Jesus made a plain and said, upon this rock, I'd build my church. That's right. And the gates, hallelujah, of hell shall not prevail against it. That's it. I'm just one of the workers oh, yeah. in the church. And I got the scriptures, which is the blueprints That's that right. show you how the church is built. That's right. And I'm looking at the church and make sure that everything is erected in the church according to the blueprints that Jesus laid. That's right. What is that? They spend their days in wealth. All right, you wealthy, you're rich. Amen.
You got a lot of money, fine, big deal. Fine. Happy for you, wonderful. That's right. But the Holy Ghost said. They spend their days in wealth. But what's behind them? And in a moment, go down to the grave. Hey, listen, you're rich, but you got COVID. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. You're rich. Oh, yes. But you're on a respirator. Amen. Rich. Oh, yes. Now you got problems breathing. That's yeah. right. Over there, God, money can't work down there, can it? That's right. Yeah. They spend their days in rich. Oh yeah. Over there, God, but you're begging God, please, Lord, don't take me. That's true. Rich. That's right. But your money can't save you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The Holy Ghost says what? They spend their days in wealth. They spend, hallelujah, their days in wealth. And in a moment. How quick? In a moment. How quick? In a moment. Where do they go? Go down to the grave. That's right. That's your next vacation spot. That, that's right. To the grave. Not Florida. No. Oh, no. Not Bahamas. No. The grave. Not Cancun. <laughs> that's right. Uh -uh. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say, William? They spent their days in wealth and in a moment. Here, go. here, here. You getting making plans now. Oh, yeah. You and your third wife. Bless yeah. God, making plans now and getting on your private jet. Get ready to go to your own island. That's right. Bless God and God been warning you, giving you time, but you've been ignoring God's warning. That's right. Amen. And here it is, a nice sunny day. Your Rolls Royce drove up on your private runway. Oh, your, yeah. your, your, your steps came down. You got on the plane. Preaching, you and your brother. second wife, bless God, and your harem Preaching. of whores and prostitutes mm. along with you. That's right. Thank God and your accountant along with your lawyer. Preaching, Big, man. Big, beautiful day, sun shining, but here's God Almighty saw you ignored them. God command the clouds. I want you to cover the plane. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Cover the jet. That's oh, right. Yeah. Thank God he command the rain. It's time for you to start falling. My Lord. Hey, Amen. Then here's your palace. Hey, we got some turbulence coming. Yeah. Fasten your seatbelt. Oh, yes. Hey, Amen. You up there with your music just blasting and partying and Go drinking. Go Thank ahead. God Almighty bring a wind and rock that plane and make the plane like a drunken man. That's right. And yet there's no fear of, from anybody in the plane. That's right. They're just laughing and cracking jokes. And Thank man. God Almighty. Amen. Charge the lightning to strike the engine. That's right. Your engine burst in flames oh, and really? now right then, right then, right then the clock is ticking yeah. from the time of the sin from the heavens. Go ahead. Fall to the earth. That's right. Judgment. That's right. Judgment. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you're not ready. Not ready. Thank God that you hit the ground. Now everybody's dead. That's right. Search party is looking for a plane full of sinners. That's right. Nobody had God. That's right. Nobody repented of their sins. That's right. Nobody was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank God, a plane full of celebrities. Hallelujah. A plane full of Democrats. That's right. A plane full of Republicans. Go ahead. And yet nobody. Nobody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm warning you. Go ahead. Nobody. Preach it. Nobody had God at all. That's right. I'm warning you now. That's right. You better hear this. They spend their days in wealth. The God of heaven is talking to you. They spend their days in wealth. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They spend their days they in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. Rich. And in a moment. In a moment. Go down to the grave. That's your next vacation coming. That's right. The grave. Amen. Amen. You got so many rich folk now in a wheelchair can't feed themselves. That's true. But the riches cannot help them. That's right. Huh? That's right. Can't help them at all. That's right. Uh -huh. They spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. And what? Therefore they say unto God. They, they have, have. Oh, you yeah. so arrogant in your wealth. Yeah. That's right. So high minded in your wealth. That's right. When you get wealth and get a mansion, then you say, I made it. You yes. made what? Yeah. You made it. That's true. Think of it. I made it. You yeah. made what? That's right. You're nothing but a sinner, a wealthy sinner. That's, that's it. Right. That's who it. don't have God. That's right. Never repent it. That's right. You think you're doing God a favor by stepping in some church. That's right. No, God is doing you a favor by letting you breathe his air. That's right. That's right. That's right. When are you going to realize? You are less than nothing. Oh, yes. Hear me now? Right. We would say, you are nothing. Right. God said, oh, no, I, I, I can reduce man 
lower than that. Right. And I can do better than that. Right. You're less than nothing. Right. How in the world can you be less than a zero? Right. Only God can orchestrate something like that. Right. You're less yeah. than nothing, viewer. Viewer, yeah. viewer, you may think you're something. You got the paparazzi following you around taking your pictures, want to see you on a beach, taking picture of you in your bikini, taking picture of you and your new boyfriend. You know, they got all that. They got slop TV. Slop TV. All they do is just talk about they saw this celebrity with this new man, that new one. They ain't nothing but slop TV. Just that who cares what different one they got and here's everything headed to our everlasting hell. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You're less than absolutely nothing. That's right. What did he say? Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. This is your attitude about God. I don't want to hear nothing about no church. That's I don't right. want to hear nothing about being holy and sanctified. That's I don't right. want to hear nothing about living right. That's don't right. you tell me I got to give up this lifestyle. That's right. I ain't got to give up this lifestyle. I can, I can, I can be I a mean. stripper and serve Jesus too. That's I can right. be, a, I can be a rapper and serve Jesus too. That's right. I can sell drugs and ser- what's wrong with clubbing a little? A little. You taking this holy thing too far? That's right. I can have some fun. That's right. That's right. You see, God thoughts ain't like yours. Oh, no. You want to claim you're a Christian and smoke and drink and treat all the wives and all the husbands in like someone got a used car lot. That's true. Eh? That's true. Or we'll take God, that's what you want. That's and right. And you want a preacher, you want a preacher who will sanction it that's and right. justify it and pat you on the back that's because right. he's so elated that I got a celebrity here. Preacher, but when you brother. stand before God, God said, I saw the day. That's right. Small and great. Stand before God. God. Stand before God. That's right. Small, Small and, great. and great. Known and unknown. That's right. Got money and don't have no money. That's right. Eh? Therefore they say unto God. They say to God. Depart from us. Get away from me, Lord. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. We don't want the knowledge of your ways. What is the almighty that we should serve him? That's the attitude. You hear That's the arrogance? Right. That's right. Do you hear the arrogance? That's right. Do you hear the arrogance? What is Get the chapter almighty? Verse again. In Job chapter 21, now we're at verse 15. This is the arrogance, the arrogance of heathens. What is the almighty? Oh, is the almighty? What is he to me? That we should serve him. Do you hear the arrogance? What is the Almighty? What is the Almighty? That we should serve him. And we should serve him. What other, what other arrogant statement is in their mind and heart? And what profit should we have? What should we gain? If we pray unto him. Why do I feel the need to pray to him? I got everything. That's right. I got my money. I got my house. I got my women. I come and go as I please. That's right. What profit should we have? If we and pray unto so him. And then you're so foolish. What else do I need? What else do I need? <laughs> Did your money give you life? Mm. Go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead. That woman that's riding on you that you got a different one every night. Mm. This one give you herpes. Next one give you HIV. Next one give you syphilis. Next one give you something else. Next one give you TikToks. <laughs> that's right. Give you something that nobody ain't never heard nobody of. Nobody ever heard. <laughs> No, another one give you strawberries, another one give you grapes, another one give you crabs, lobsters, seahorses, and starfish. That's right. Eh? That's right. And God, by the time she's done with she'll use a fruit bowl. That's right. Eh? Amen. Oh, it's a God they spend high. their days in wealth. Oh, it's a God, I want you to understand, Mr. and Miss Thing. Preach it. Without God, you are absolutely nothing. All nations and before you him. you young men and you young women I saw on the streets of America, the streets of Europe, the Go streets ahead. of Africa, and the streets of uh, Australia and the rest of the world that's out there selling dope, selling drugs, gang banging, raping and sodomizing and acting like a fool. You going to stand before God too. That's right. You crooked policemen and you rotten politicians that rob from the poor just to keep your pockets aligned with unlawful money. That's right. You're going to stand before God also. That's right. Everybody, nobody's going to get away from this. That's right. God said, be holy. Be holy. Hallelujah. 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 That's what God said. That's right. Be holy. Be holy. For the Lord your God is holy. Is holy. Is holy. Everybody got to repent. That's it. Everybody got to be baptized. That's right. Everybody must seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. That's right. If not, everybody's going to die and go to a priceless grave. Go ahead. And burn. Go ahead. Burn. 
Go ahead. Burn in the everlasting hell. That's right. What did he say? They spend their days in wealth. They spend their days. In wealth. Waddling in riches. Hallelujah. And in a moment. And quick. Go down to the grave. In a moment. Years ago when I was a child, uh, there was a woman that uh, we grew up with. Yeah. And she hit the lottery. Yeah. And she got so excited, she hit the lottery, I think, for about $3 million. Lord. Got so excited, she had a heart attack the same day and dropped dead. My Lord. My Lord, my Amen. Lord. Mm. Amen. Don't get that excited about God, though. That's true. That's hit true. the lottery, died. That's right. Depart this life with no God. No God. Who do you think you are? That's Amen. Right. Huh? You that's out there fussing over this message, it doesn't matter, it don't change. That's right. Huh? That's right. Who do you think you are? You're nothing but a little piece of dust. Oh, have, man, you, have, you, have you ever seen a bubble on water? Yeah. What makes that bubble form? Air. Yeah. When the air goes, soon as the air disappears, the bubble disappears. That's right. That's you, viewers. That's right. Hey, Amen. That's you, hard head, stubborn, self righteous, men, religious lovers. Amen. Oh, it take God, the only thing that got you living, God lent you some air. That's it. God lent, here, 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 here now. That's right. God lent you some air. That's it. And when you don't use the breath in your nostrils to magnify God, yeah. to honor God, to obey God, yeah. God come along and snatch the air out of you. Yeah. And he don't look at your status. No. Hey Amen. He look at you while you're driving your Ferrari. God, yeah. God said, look, you, you, you still? I done gave you time to get it right. You still don't want it? That's right. All right. Then I look at you driving. I just snatch your breath snatch out. Snatch it out. And your, and your Ferrari is wrapped around a tree or wrapped around a pole. That's right. Hey Amen. God Almighty is warning you men and women of every race and of every country That's right. and of every creed. Thank God all the governments of the earth, Go ahead. every queen, every politician, Democrat, Republican, you that is in Europe, in the European yeah. Parliament, amen, Queen Go Elizabeth ahead. and the Church of England, Go ahead. thank God, President Biden and Harris and the whole world. That's right. God Almighty is going to call you into judgment. Oh, yes. And at the appointed time, he's going to shut your heart down. That's right. Hey! That's right. Who will take God, he's going to shut your heart down. Down and when the queen heart stop, her crown will fall off her head and her mouth will drop open and Hallelujah. then the world Go ahead. will realize that the Church of England can't help. Amen. Go when ahead. God stop the heart of the Wait. president. That's right. Amen. Everybody gonna realize the White House Go cannot help it. The king's no. heart. It. That's the right. The Holy Ghost says what? The king's heart. Listen at this. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 21 and verse 1. The king's heart. Is in the hand of the Lord. God will stop your heart when you please. As the rivers of water. What? As the rivers of water. As the rivers of water. He turneth it with us soever he will. Listen, God take the wind and make the water switch direction. That's right. And that's what he do with your heart, Mr. and Miss Thing. That's right. Hey, man, you out there smoking and partying now and gang banging, hanging all the fun you want. Yeah. Bless God going after your pleasure. The Bible says, she that live in pleasure is dead while she live. That's right. But let us bear in mind that the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Of the Lord. And just like the power of God, the presence of God, the moving of God, the spirit of God direct the waters and gave the sea her decree, Go ahead. God can set a decree in your heart and tell her, shut up. That's right. Stop. That's right. Don't do nothing no more. That's it. Hey Amen. I, I, I want him. That's it. I want her. That's right. But yet they don't want me. Oh, yeah. But what kind of choice they have? The king's heart. Is in the hand of the Lord. All you kings, all you dictators, all you emperors, all you ambassadors, all of you politicians. Right. It doesn't matter your status, your position. No. Holiness is the last day warning. That's right. So you hear me? That's right. Holiness oh, yeah. is the warning of the last days. That's right. Are you listening? The king's heart. Holiness. Holiness. Go ahead. Preach. There's the warning. Preach it. Who reject God to the world. That's right. For the last days. Be a fool now. Be Sit fool. still and go to hell. That's right. But you're going to remember when you stand before God whose appearance is brighter than the sun. Amen. Thank God in the books is open Amen. and you're not found written. That's right. In the book of life. And then he casts you to a pit that has no pit. bottom and you burn. Mm. Long as God remains 
God because you're too stubborn. That's right. You tell God now, get away from me. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Give chapter and verse again, William. Back in Job chapter 21 and verse 14. They say to God, depart from us. Get away from it. For we desire not the knowledge of thy way. I don't want your knowledge, Lord. I don't want to hear nothing about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm already saved. That's right. I don't bow my head and raise my hands. I I'd accept you as you're my personal savior 40 years ago watching <laughs> Billy Graham. That's you right. You came into my heart. It ain't one soul that had Graham ever led to Jesus since Graham was Graham. Preach it, brother. Yeah. Preach it. Not one. That's right. It ain't nobody came to Let Jesus know, unless Pastor. you come on Bible order. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The celebrity status of a preacher is not what make that man right. Go ahead. Nobody Go ahead. ever came to Jesus unless you come according to the word of God. That's right. Thank God Jesus Christ died Hallelujah. and came on back the third day and told his apostles that repentance. And remission of sin. That repentance. And remission of and sins. And remission of sins. Sin. It should name. be preaching his name among, among all, all nations. nations. Beginning at Jerusalem, thank right. God, and then the church started That's right. on the day of Pentecost. It broke out That's right. in Jerusalem. Glory Hallelujah. to God there. Peter preached it with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven and told everybody to repent. repent. He didn't tell you join the church. No, he no. didn't tell you bow your head and raise your hands. No. He didn't tell you accept Christ as your personal Savior. Oh, no. He didn't tell you this is the hour of decision. That's right. Every man that points you to Christ got to point you to the apostle. That's right. Every man that points you to Christ got to point you to the apostle. That's right. Every man that points you to Christ got to point you to the apostles. That's it. Jesus said to his apostles, he that hear you. Hear me. Here with me, he that despise you, despise me, your salvation, go ahead, your salvation, glory Hallelujah. to God, must Hallelujah. be according to what he gave his apostles. That's right. And the apostles spoke plain. That's right. To repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Oh, that got all the preachers, all the evangelicals, Hallelujah. all the Methodists, the Baptists, the Lutheran, the Presbyterian, the Mormon, the Muslim, the five percenters. Amen. It doesn't matter what you call yourself. You got this to do. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Peter was instructed by the God of the universe. That's right. Time to be sorry. Be convicted for being a fool. That's right. Repent. And be baptized, and be baptized every one everybody. of you. Everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. For the remission of sins. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Go back. What do they tell God, son? They say unto Chapter God. Chapter and verse. Back in Job 21 and verse 14. Says what? They say unto God, depart from us. That's you, viewer. That's right. Amen. That's why I said to you that's watching on social media, don't you argue with people who make negative comments about this. That's right. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Ignore them. It that's don't right. don't even comment about what they say. Amen. Don't even comment. They want attention. Yeah. Don't give them that attention. The devil got them on social media as a distraction. You just follow the word of God. That's it. Jesus said this. Let them alone. That's right. That's what Jesus said. That's right. Let them alone. Let them alone. If the blind lead the blind, they both fall into the ditch. That's right. Let them fight it. Let them reject it. But hell will take care of them also. Therefore, they say unto God. They say to God. Depart from us. Depart from us. Depart from what us. else? For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. That they don't only just say, leave me alone. For we desire they gave not their reason why they don't want Jesus in their life. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. They don't want the knowledge of God. They want the knowledge of smoking and the knowledge of gambling. That's right. The knowledge of drinking, the knowledge of living together, not married, the knowledge of being a homosexual. Hey, Amen. Want right. to be a Christian and uh, like, like Biden. Mm -hmm. Biden said he's a Christian. He said, but he had gay friends. I'm, I strive to be a holy man, and I don't have no gay friends. <laughs> That's right. None. Yeah. That's right. Hey, Amen. I don't have a gay friend in the world. <laughs> and the reason why I don't have none, because the Bible don't permit me to have none. No. Give me James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers. Ye adulterers. And adulterers. And adulterers. No, ye not. No, ye not. That the friendship, that the of, friendship of, the world of the world is enmity with God. It brings a conflict between you and God. Whosoever, Whosoever therefore, will therefore be a friend, is of, the a friend world, of the world is the enemy of God. You're God's enemy. Whosoever. Therefore. And before I become God's enemy, That's I'm right. going to be your enemy. That's right. Whosoever, therefore. Eh? Whosoever, therefore. Whosoever. Will be a friend of the world. I wouldn't care if it's my son, my brother, my uncle, my cousin. Preaching. If it was my daddy. Go ahead. If my daddy was coming back from the dead and came, knocked on my door over 30 years after he died mm. and come stand there and say, Gino, it's me. I'm gay. I'm slamming the door and tell him, go back to the grave. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Go on back to the grave. Well, I'm going to grab on myself 
and dig a spot in my backyard and throw him in it. Whosoever there, whosoever, the friend of the world, the friend of the world, is the enemy of God. Oh, and say that sounds like hatred. That's not hatred. That's Bible. That's that's James four and four. That's Bible. That's right. What you mean, the friend of the world? Jesus said, "Do not after their after works. Their works. Don't do after their works. They got oh, to be no. a separation." So I can't condone homosexuality. Someone said, "But what did the Bible mean when it said all souls is mine?" Amen. Yes, that soul belongs to God, but that behavior that's portrayed in the homosexual is just not of God. That's right. That soul belongs to God, but that behavior rejects the counsel of God. That's right. In other words, the Bible said in works, they profess that they know God, but in works, they deny, they him. deny him. That's right. So when that man say he's a Christian, but yet he sleep with a man or marry a man, his works is he's rejecting God. That's right. He's denying God in works. That's right. Out of his mouth, he professes. Yes. But in works, he denies. They deny him. And the adulterers and adulteresses. Thank God, the adulterers. And adulteresses. And adulterers. Know ye not that the friendship of the world. The friendship of the world. Is enmity with God. And what? Whosoever therefore Whosoever will be, a, there friend will be a friend of the world. Is the enemy of God. All right, let's go back to what they say about God. Then we go back to the foundation of where we started. So back, I'm going to knock off. Back in Job 21 and verse 14. Real quick. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. This is the attitude that the human family have about God. Depart from us. Viewers, is this you in That's 2022? Is this you? That's right. That's you right. have the same attitude that's carried over from 2021 to mm -hmm. 2022. That's it. I hate that preaching. I can't stand that preaching. All he do is talk about living right. All he do is talk <laughs> about right. going to hell. I'm tired of hearing tired about of baptism. I'm, I don't believe in baptism. That's I don't right. believe in speaking in tongues. That's right. I believe in two gods. I'm tired of hearing it. Is that you? Mm -hmm. They say unto God, depart from us. Is that you, For heathen, we... heathen, heathen? Go ahead, brother. Is that you? Go ahead. The devil make you look at me and how I sound, and you say he sound mean. He sound like he's full of pride. <laughs> All right, let me tone it down a little. Tone it down a little, Pastor. Oh, no. Let me tone it down a little. Tone it down a little. Tone it down a little. All right, let me let me let, let me tone it down a few seconds just for you. Oh, no. Just for you. Is that you, viewer? <laughs> That's right. Come on, Go ahead, brothers. You still want to drink, smoke? You still want to dance? No! Go ahead, man. You still want to shake yourself? Is that you, viewer? <laughs> That's right. Go Christ, ahead. Christ don't like that. Amen. Come on, Jay! Still, you're still going to hell, viewer. That's true! And right. notice your journey didn't change. That's right. You want me to be like your pastor? Amen. One of the power puff girls. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's what they want me to be, one of the power puff girls. That's right. Want to be, want me to be cinnamon toast man. That's right. Huh? That's right. Go ahead, man. We come on back with Bible and telling you what must be done. Must be done. And that's what's drawing people to this program by millions. That's right. They are drawn to it because they know they don't hear nothing over social media, not even similar to it. That's right. It, it, stand, it, it stands out by itself. That's right. What do they hear? They say unto God, depart from us. The thing that they hear blasted from the truth of God is God. Is God. Huh? That's right. That's what's drawing the people to it. They never heard God before. Go ahead, bro. They never heard the voice of Hallelujah. God before. Hallelujah. Go ahead, man. Never heard it. Go ahead. Hey, Amen. But Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw all men to me. That's and right. And that's why so many people are just drawn. That's right. Drawn. The enemies are drawn oh, to yeah. it. They got to keep coming back over and over and over. That's right. Why? Hallelujah. They hear God's voice in it. That's it. Huh? That's it. Amen. God told his apostles, he that hear you. Hears me. Hear me. Hears me. Ain't that what he said? That's right. Amen. That's what's drawing. That's what's drawing the people. It's not Pastor Jennings. Oh, it's no. God Almighty speaking out of Pastor Jennings. It is God Almighty speaking through Go Pastor ahead. Jennings. It is God Almighty using Pastor Jennings. Preaching and he man. have opened my mouth. Go ahead. Who will take God with the authority of the great God of heaven That's to it. warn the world. That's right. Amen. About your wicked ways, and you bad mind, you bad mind, stiff necks and hard head and uncircumcised of heart and ears. You're gonna do what God say do the way He say do it, or God gonna throw you in hell That's if right. you don't believe it's a hell. That's right. You're still gonna go. That's right. Huh? Amen. You don't believe it's no hell, Jehovah Witnesses, but you going? Oh yes. Oh hmm? yes. 
Oh, yeah. you, may not, you may not believe that there's snow outside now here in Philadelphia, <laughs> but it's out there. That's right. Your unbelief don't melt it. Oh, no. When you hit that black ice, you may not believe you're spinning. <laughs> but when the headlights of that truck start getting close to your grill, oh, yeah. <laughs> you'll get educated right away. That's right. Glory to God. Come on, Williams, run quick. They spend that, back in Job 21 and verse 13. They spend their days in, in wealth. And in a moment go down to the grave. And what is it? Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Yeah. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. And what is the Almighty that we should serve him? Look at him? the attitude. Look at the attitude. Amen. Amen. They thought they did something because they went to a church and heard a good choir singing. That's right. You ain't going to be saved by singing. No way. No, oh, no. Hmm? No, no. Did you hear? What is the Almighty that we should serve Him? What is the Almighty? Who is God that we should serve Him? And what profit should we what have should if we, we gain, pray if unto we Him? We pray to Him. Lo, their good is not in their hand. Yeah, they, and that's true. That's true. Their good is not in their hand. The counsel of the, the wicked is far of from the me. The wicked is far from how me. Often is the how often is the candle of the wicked put out? How often the candle of the wicked put out? And how oft comes how their often destruction upon come you? their destruction upon them? Amen. And viewers, let us understand something: the destruction of God is not finished. Oh no. Not finished. No way. He's washing villages away. That's right. Amen. He's bringing avalanches and knocking down mansions. That's right. He's igniting fires and burning down wealthy folk vacation homes. That's, that's right. People are running for their lives, and God is taking them one by one. Amen. Gathering them. He's, he's making a collection, you oh, know. Yeah. Amen. He's collecting them for eternity. That's right. And viewers. That's right. You better be ready when God come for you. Ha right. Hating me ain't going to stop God from coming. No. You're undecided now, and the prophet saw multitudes. That's he right. saw multitudes right. in the valley of decision. That's You're right. undecided. You're undecided whether to repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ or keep your church position. You're mm -hmm. undecided whether stay in that church because the preacher them threw a title on you down to hold your hostage like a slave master. Multitudes, multitudes. But God Almighty saw you. In Joel chapter 3 and verse 14. The book of Joel. Chapter 3 and verse 14. That's what? Multitudes, multitudes. Multitudes, a whole lot of you. In the valley. A whole lot of you. In the valley of in decision. in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near. Wait a minute. What's coming? The day of the Lord is near. The day of the Lord is close. In the valley of decision. Notice, you being undecided. Give chapter and verse again, William. Joel chapter 3 and verse 14. You being undecided. Amen. Don't stop the coming of God. That's right. Don't slow down the coming of the Lord. For Think the, of it. Mm -hmm. 2021. Way up to 7,335 souls that have repented of their sins and been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And Wonderful. many hundreds received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Wonderful. And everyone that been baptized, you better stay out of that false church. That's right. And get ready to walk with the Lord. That's because right. Because this may be your year of meeting God. That's right. That's right. That's true. That's right. Come out from the man-made religion. That's right. Acts 2, 38, the apostle Peter says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Viewers and you that are here, Amen. it's time to be born again now. That's right. Amen. Stop wasting your time over television and radio and social media looking at these cotton candy fellas. That's right. Amen. Who just don't scare the preacher against sin. That's right. God wants you to be right. That's he right. declared it's not even his will that anybody go to hell. That's right. That anybody perish, but that all come to repentance. That's right. Then Peter. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Be sorry about your sins. And be baptized every one of you. What? And be baptized every one of Make you. Make it up in your mind this year to get right now. That's right. Okay, you might as well break up that uh, living together, not married this year. Do it now. That's right. Amen. Man, do it right now. You watching me now. Just break it up now. <laughs> Amen. Get ready to lay down that pipe and uh, no more vaping, no That's more right. smoking. That's right. Put the needle down. Yeah. No more crack. No more living together, not married. That's right. Run out of your man-made religion. Get ready to give your life to God on God terms. That's right. And this is God terms here. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Praise the great name of God. Repent. And be baptized, every Thank one God. of you. Be baptized. Every one of you. How much? Every one of you. I got every body in the world. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. To get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy and Ghost. And you'll be filled with God. Anybody here want to get right with God and be baptized in water? In the name of Jesus Christ on God's terms. Stand on your feet if you want it today. Amen. Wonderful.
One of all of you that are standing, follow that brother there. Hallelujah. Follow that brother there, and they'll bring you around. Hallelujah. Everybody, everybody That's got right. this to do. That's right. You might as well get ready to leave these churches alone. That's right. Leave them alone and get ready to follow what God himself, not what Pastor Jennings set up. I wouldn't set up nothing like this. <laughs> no. I would not set up nothing like this, not at all. No way. God set it up. My job is to preach it. That's right. And I say like the Apostle Paul, this will I do. If God permits. All right. May God bless you. We're going to start early this afternoon. Amen. We want you back at 430. Amen. We'll let you start at 430. Prayer will be from 430, God willing, uh, to 5 o'clock. Amen. And then after that, praise service. And after that, ministering the word of God. Let us all stand. Them that's being baptized, let them come on and get through. Lead them through quickly. And uh, come on, just lead them through that they can get ready and get baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, once again, we thank you for your word that has been preached. You purpose for it to be preached to reach the hearts of men and women all over. We thank you for the constant soul that's coming from around the world, ready to obey your will. Them that have already repented and was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, let them stay away from falsehood and deception and walk with the way of holiness according to your divine word. We thank you for making this message the message that you place in the earth for all men to hear and obey. God, and protect us all as we go back to our separate places. Keep us and preserve us in thine will till we come back again. These blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Let everyone say amen.